rock crafts, make rock mugs. Uh, these both sell pretty easily. You can make, uh, I mean, anything. dice. Rock dice? Let's sell dice here. Make them. Make them now. Make some dice so I can sell them. A bunch of chalk dice. That's what that's our, our industry is going to be. Hey, Xanag. How's it going? What you got? What's, what's the news? Um, here do I say what I want from you? I don't really care. Um, I don't really care. But you know what? If you want to bring me some iron bars, I'll take them. I can make some stuff out of that. Yeah, give me some iron bars. You know, even copper bars. I'll take all that. Or your bronze, uh, steel. That's all good stuff. We can get, then we can show off making some things. Sure. Okay. Uh, yeah, thanks. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's what I just said, basically. Okay. Alright, this is what they want. They want quivers, windows, toys. I have toys. They want earrings. Armor, large gems. Um, I can make you some toys and earrings. You know what? Forget the dice. Um, cancel that. Let's make some... Can we make rock, rock earrings? Rock toys? Rock earrings. Make them. Repeat. Now. I'm going to craft some of those things up and, and we'll, uh, we'll sell them. Most of the rocks, well, not really. There's a bunch of rocks still around here. But our smoothing is happening. Let's not get over there because everyone's busy doing other things. You know. Excuse me. More migrants. <laughs> More migrants. All right, people. Look at all these people. Excellent. All right. More migrants. How's this? Uh, how's this looking down here? Is it looking fancy? Where are we at? We still at 434. We're getting there. Um, it's been smoothed. We haven't engraved it. So let's go over here and go to D and then start engraving stone. So this is making like, we're cutting pictures and things into there. It makes me makes it look extra fancy. So we're going to engrave, uh, this wall and the floors and everything. We can say what we want to engrave it in. We can say, I want you to engrave it in, uh, I don't care what you do. Artist, you choose. You make whatever you want, buddy. How's the bedrooms looking? They're getting there. What is that? That's a different looking oh, quartzite. Petrified wood. Got some rock crystals in there. This is more microcline. Anything else in here? No? But as soon as we get somebody in there making those. Is somebody making who's doing nothing? You. I got too many. Rimtar. You got a new job, buddy. New job. We're gonna go into P and then. L, and then I want you to go into crafts, and I want you to make, where is it, stone crafting, rim to our ring release, go do some crafting, does it work, I need to be able to pray now, rim tar, oh someone's making them though, someone's got it, uh, looks like, uh, oh Jim's again, yeah, Jim's got it, Make some earrings. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, Armored Vision. That's the one. Now that this guy's doing his job, hopefully, we can get some thread spun. And let me see here. Those, those, the, the trailer will be here for a little bit, so we can, we'll be fine. Um, can I uh, have you do some things? Spin some thread? W and uh, and Y and maybe collect some. I'm gonna have to collect webs. No. No cloth. No. Uh, no weave thread in the cloth. We still haven't got. We still haven't got that done yet. However, they can still make their way out out the door and head down. And have we got there yet? There you go. And you come out. No, they still dug out. When it gets dug out, they can come out here and collect some webs. So we can have some silk stuff. Is 
Yeah, that's right. That's right. Um, that uh, that armor piece didn't have everything shown up because a lot of the stuff was was modded in, not showing up. You're right. Fast on dealing with huge migrant waves. Trouble keeping up with the jobless dwarves. Um, I don't know if I have an answer for that. I don't know. What do you do if you have too many dwarves coming in? I never have enough. Um. No, I don't know. Thanks, Camille. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know what to do with, with too many dwarves. Just keep up with bedrooms so you can keep them happy. Make sure your make sure your dining room is, is keeping up the size, which mine isn't. Um You can always do uh craft things, you can always dig down and get if you get if you find metals, then that's something. And yeah, and yeah, with all the temples you can always fill jobs with temples. You can come in here and say oh that one. Um each temple can have a different performer. Tavern needs a tavern keeper. Um, so I mean, I guess there's 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 places for uh, for jobs. If you start getting um, library, you can start getting a scholar and a scribe. A scribe will start taking works of arts and and making new things, and you can start creating new artifacts for the world. Um, yeah, we engravers for sure. Everyone's just standing around, just talking. Uh, Rageous. No talking. Uh, I would like you to come in here and do some stone detailing. I want a lot of people to do stone detailing. Um, who else is doing nothing? Herbalist. Wood burner. You wood burner. Uh, maybe not you. You swords dwarf. Thob. Go do some stone detailing. He's on, he's on active duty right now, so he's not doing anything, but. Hey, Nicola, I was just talking about that. Okay. Um. Let's see. You know what I should have done? Let's try this. I've never done this before. I'm going to cancel this designation. Remove designation. So I'm gonna try. I want to get these arrow slits done now. But let's try something. Let's come in here and let's say I want to I want to do this. Tar toggle for car fortifications. Shift F. And we're gonna go set priority. Seven. I think think higher number is better. Uh, and we're gonna carve this stuff now. So hopefully this will get done. Yeah, yeah. This will get done now. But I've marked it. We'll find out. I've never done I've never messed with that before. Spooky courts. What was the other, uh... I missed uh, the other... Graving... Oh, yeah, graving crafting. Um, yeah, making making things to sell is always... It's always big money. Do we have anything we could... So let's go move some goods over. Do we have any, any um... Earrings yet? Um, yeah, maybe that one? Maybe that one. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and call a um, R mover trader to the depot. Um, you know, one thing you can always do is if you get too many people, is you can start raiding. It's always a always a fun time. Hit C and you go to the world map. We are located here, but if we wanted to go and raid, did we do this yet? Did we do any raiding? I, th I don't remember if we did now or not. I don't think we did. We got an Elvis, Elven Force, Elvis, an Elven Force retreat up here. There's only ten people there. You can kind of skirt around and try to figure out what's going on in these places. But purple stuff is goblins. Uh, yellow stuff is elves. Yellow eyes. Um, there's little towns around here. There's a human fort. Um, are the O's? There's a there's a monastery hanging around here. I think I did do. I think I did do a little bit of this. Um, there's a dwarven tower. Which any eyes, capital eyes, are bad news. But thing that's uh, that's out there is you can see artifacts. There's rumored artifacts that, that are in this this tower. Artifacts are good stuff. Art, artifacts will, will bring you renown to your fortress and people see, hey, that's a nice looking fortress. Maybe you'll become a kingdom of some kind. Um, there's an elven retreat with a, uh, with a with a book there. But uh, you can always go and raid these folks and uh, raid the site. R, raid the site and start charging in there and 
ruining their day, stealing their stuff, really, is the idea. Uh, some of these are massive, though. There's, well, 300, that's not too bad. But sometimes you get some giant sites around here. Another necromancy tower up here. If you want to get um, super excited, um, or super interesting, which would be the word, uh, each of these necromancy towers, during world generation, what, what makes them a necromancy tower is uh, they all have a book. Some some book was created, and in that book, some some random random guy walks up and reads the book and learns how to become a necromancer. So if you take that book and then bring it to your fortress, I don't want to ruin anything, but some fun things happen. We'll just say that. Put it in your library, and it's just it's just good times. <laughs> so. Uh, we have a we have a dwarf here that has uh, has gotten an idea. Well, who is who's withdrawn from society? Kel, where's Kel at? Let's follow him. Oh, stop! Stop playing. Paused. Where'd he go? Where is he? I missed him. Kel, what's he doing? He's just hanging out in here. There you go. Okay, okay. I don't know why I was zooming down there. He's not even there. So he has taken over the craft, craft store's workshop. He's going to build some things. Let's make sure that he is building what we want him to build. Where is he? Strange move. There he is. Zoom here. Follow the guy. He's grabbing some rocks. Make sure read books like you can read the music descriptions. I have to find one in adventure mode. Uh, it tells you what the book's about. Oh yeah, post the link. I, I don't think I saw that. Uh, it seems to be not working. So, did he start construction yet? I wasn't watching. No, so something's missing. So let's go look and see what he wants. Get Q on him. All right, so he's got pictures of a quarry, which is rock stacked cloth. That's one thing we don't have. So he needs he needs cloth. Uh, we can luckily we have traders here. Let's go talk with these guys. Um, where's my broker at? Hmm. Where's my broker at? Do we have one? What are you doing? Oh, because you're mil you're the militia commander. You're probably doing militia things. Let me replace you. I'll put. Persuader. I'm going to put Rigoth. Rigoth in there. My new broker. Oh. Daton has been elected mayor. Well, that's exciting. We now have a mayor in our fortress. Which I'm assuming we'll find out. We usually get someone to come and buy here. Talking to us about this. We now have... We're now big enough to be considered... Enough to have a... No, I want to go talk to him. Okay, fine. Anyone can trade. B, anyone can trade with him. Somebody go up there and talk to him. I want to talk to him. Trade. T. Okay. All right. Efforts are legend there. So I'm going to take all my stuff. Shift, enter. You can have all my stuff. Including all the stuff that's in here. There's shoes. There's oh, there's a bunch of clothes in there. Uh, there's a bunch of figurines. A bunch of earrings. Hmm? Bracelets. Amulets. Where do we get all this stuff from? Oh, we basically we made a lot of a bunch of, of crafts at some point with shells. Um, yeah, all that stuff. You can have it all. What's it worth? We don't know what it's worth. It's because you don't know what... Because you're not a broker, we don't know what it's worth. Well, that's not going to help me out any. Really? Uh, <laughs> it's not going to help me any. How am I supposed to know what I got? <laughs> Fine, don't pick anything. I just want a couple pieces of cloth. So, yeah, let your broker do the talking. I, I yammered on too long. Here, you can have some arrows. All 25 of them. You can have a couple wheelbarrows. I just want a couple pieces of cloth. I don't know what anything's worth. Just give me some cloth. Where's your cloth at? Where's where's search? I don't know. Um, search. Uh, cloth, cloth. You have a mule, do you? I'm going to buy some stuff from you. Me just just regular old cloth. Is it S? Ain't working. 
cat hood. Bags. Leather bag. And wool bag. Um, cloth. There we go. Just give me the whole thing. Give me the whole bean of cloth. Trade. Alright, excellent. So we don't know if it's worth what it's worth, because my guy that's over here trading doesn't know numbers. Um, we can try to say only broker come over here if we can catch him before they leave. Oh, there we go. He's got it now. So Kel immediately ran over and grabbed the uh, the cloth and started working on it. Oh, we can trade. Okay, he's there now. Okay. So we can see things now? No, oh, why isn't my... Hmm. Why isn't my number showing up now? Hey, broker. Are you dumb? What's wrong with you? There's the mayor. I need someone that has... an intent... No, I need someone that has appraisal. You. Maybe you should be the one doing it. I'm making you. Stackwood is now my trader. He is a trader. As a matter of fact. Okay, so... Yeah, go do that. Now we have numbers. Okay, okay, okay. I don't think I've ever had to deal with that. Make sure your guy has a appra has appraisal value. Oh, all right. Uh, everything marked. Yeah, we're marking everything for straight. Look, we got we got four thousand bucks now. Before they leave, let's grab let's grab some stuff. Uh, I would like to have some. Let's make a couple silver bars. Let's do a bit of of metal industry. So we'll do some of that. We'll grab some. A couple silver bars. We can make a couple war hammers or something out of that. Uh, there's glass we could use to make a like a pedestal if we wanted to get there. I think I might just buy some weapons from you. Puzzle box. I don't care about that. You have a you do have a pig. Um, some beer. Copper war hammer. I'm gonna buy a couple things just just so that's expensive. Um, so our army has some weapons. There's an iron crossbow. Mmm, that's not exciting. Bronze battle axe. Take it. Warhammer. Yeah, give me the good stuff. Copper mace. Copper's kind of kind of lousy, but we're taking it. Um, you also have a very fancy leather dress. Copper mail shirt. Bronze breastplate. I'll take it. Do you have any um, any artifacts? I want some of those. I'm gonna throw some of those in my in my um, my guild halls. Down here on the bottom. You have a mule bone figurine of a parakeet. That's exciting. Let's see what we can find down here. Let me buy a few plump helmets too, just so we can restock our food supplies. And, um, let's see what else you got. You got a lot of stuff. Yak cheese. Crutches. We can make those easy. Fancy looking wheelbarrows. Yeah, those are ours. Um, here we go. Give me foraging behavior. 400 bucks. I'll buy it. Uh, now, if we had a codex and we had some parchment, we can make our own books. We'll buy some of that. I think it's just the two things you need. Um, I could buy a... Um, I think I just sold you a bunch of, of instruments. I could buy some of those. We'll buy um, some sheets. Um, a white stork bone vagush blowpipe. I'll buy it. Foundation of the Wind. I'll buy that also. That's uh, that's pretty good. We get, you're getting a pretty good value out of this. But that'll give me... I can't make, I can't make anything fancy. We can make a couple things fancy, I guess, out of brass if we wanted to. Where's all your good bars? Clay, oak, all wood now. Um, Alright, well, give me... Um, I could buy something with all my money. I don't want your dumb rooster. I will take a steel short sword. Can I afford? Can you give me that? Eh? Trade? Nope. All right, no short sword. Give me the. Uh, give me a bronze pick. Trade. Okay, he's fine with that. All right, so there's some stuff for us. So now we have a couple of bars. So let's let's go finish this up with with some some 
fo uh, some bar stuff. Metal stuff. So normally you would take your smelter and you could melt down things. Like you say you find some hematite, you could melt it down into, into bars. And you take those bars and we go over to the forge. Uh, first, make sure you have coal of some kind. You can either find coal in the mountains or you can get it from the wood furnace, which we've done already, I think. I think we've done already. Make some char charcoal. Uh, and then the charcoal will go into the forge where we can make something here. Let's go make a uh, silver, a steel, uh, sorry, silver is, is a very heavy, heavy, heavy is the word, a heavy metal. It's not um, sharp though. So silver makes a very good weapon for something that's heavy, like a warhammer. So we have a silver warhammer. We can make, um, like a battle axe isn't going to be, I guess that battle axe is okay because it's heavy. You need weight and strength. Um, a, like a short sword wouldn't be good because it's, it's heavy and it doesn't hold its, its sharpness like a Warhammer would. So let's make two Warhammers. That's what we'll make. Um, and we'll have two silver Warhammers hopefully getting crafted. What's happening? Somebody's fighting. Troglodyte's fighting. We have Troglodytes? Where? Oh, he's fighting something. He's not fighting us. He's just out hanging around. Troglodytes like to hang around in the caves. Dense. Yeah, yeah. Silver, silver Warhammers are skull crushers. They certainly are. And some of our military should grab some, should grab them up on their own. We can make them if we need to. Okay. So we've got... How's, how's food looking? We have zero drinks. What? Maybe we should be doing some stuff with still. Hey, why don't you be uh, brewing some drinks, buddies? Do it now. That's a problem. It's starting to look like a proper fortress with our, our engraved things. They're still not doing this. So I don't know what to do. <laughs> maybe, maybe, I need, maybe it's priority one. These plump helmets spawn. You know how many plump helmets spawn? You had just a million of them a minute ago. You got 28 of them. What are you talking about? Look, the traders are on their way. Taking off. What's his face is still building something, something over here? Um. Oh, okay, never mind. I didn't get this. the music. So Kel, our guy who was making things, the soap maker, he created Estunazir, a chalk earring. Oh, nice. A chalk earring with, I guess, some cloth on there. Claims it's an heirloom in the name of the family ancestor, Asmo Confined Clasps. Excellent. You know what, buddy? It's all yours. You can keep it. So now I think we can go, if we go here, that counts as a, um, does that count as, where, where do we see this? I forget where we see what artifacts we have. Artifacts L. Oh, there it is. Okay. This one. It counts as an artifact in our fortress. Yeah. So it's worth 6,000 dwarf bucks. We also have the, um, the wood figurine, which we got on display, which is worth 3,600 dwarf bucks. We can get a description of it if we want. A chalk earring. Let's try. If I put it in here on a pedestal, if I were to build, I'm just curious. This is a test. Build a pedestal. Uh, what's that under? Is it under F? No. Where do I build pedestals from? I forget. Um, do you make them? Pedestal. Make me a pedestal. And we're gonna set it on. Uh, set it in there. Away, they, away the traders go. Bye. Nice doing business with you. So we have a mayor now. We didn't get any any word about our mayor, but we hit enough population, I guess, to have a mayor. Um, oh, hey, look. Uh, our, our manager is reading that Give Me Foraging Behavior book, which I, I'm guessing will teach him more about... Can we, we can hit J and see what it says. Uh, the red part, uh, parchment scroll. Someone was asking about books. This is a parchment scroll. Rollers are made from nice... On the items manual entitled Give Me Foraging Behavior, authored by Nemo Trammel Couples. Foraging behavior on the diet of and concerns the foraging behavior and diet of creatures. Has a hint of viciousness to it. Overall prose is splendid. Viciousness to the plants. So there we go. And we got a little kid playing with a with a puzzle box. Uh, folks are watches, watching this uh, this combat drill. Uh, Warhammer's getting made. I want to what was the one thing? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, in here, we're going to go to our library here. And since you mentioned it before, let's go ahead and get a scholar. I don't remember who we want for scholars. 
hopefully it, it lists it top to bottom as as uh, important. I don't know what it does though. I know you can look this thing up on. Um, ideally, you want someone that's smart. For. Ooh. I don't know who to put in here. We'll put Kubuk in there. Kubuk, you're now my scholar. And then the scribe's going to be... It's just listed in the same, same way. We're going to put Eteb in there because he's a clerk already. Let's go scribe away, buddy. There's no writing material in here. We need to get some in there, which would be paper. Um, we do have three books listed in here. We have um, one bag or box. I guess we want to have it tied into our guy. Let's go see if we can put in... Um, I want sheets, right? Sheets, I think, is the stockpile we want in here. And that will bring out all well, the sheets. So the scribe can do what he needs to do. No, no door therapist. <clears throat> door forces with Twitch integration would be fun. Yeah, it would be great. Um, I wonder how difficult that would be. It shouldn't be that, that hard. Like, every time you get migrants in, it just takes the names. Somebody, um, yeah, Aku made me, um, I had a long time ago, Aku made me a thing where I could, it would just sort of take names and, and I could plug them in quickly. I, I still had to go through the, through the thing. But I wonder how difficult it would be just to add that in. We're from plants. We got drinks coming in now. There we go, we got drinks now. We got no meat. Um, what are we, are we growing anything in our farm? Do we have any sort of livestock we can deal with? We need cats. Is there anything out there? Storks still? Troglodytes, we can't eat those. There's a goblin axeman visiting us. There's storks. Um. Let's eat some, uh, some cats. Let's see, um, we have a buffalo cow. I'm gonna eat, I wanna use him for his, or her, sorry, her, for milk. Um, we have some, there's another cow there. No, that's not that's not going to be right. Uh, give me a, uh, dogs, uh, the dogs are trained. <laughs> hey, hey, Bob. Uh, we got a rooster here, but I think I keep, I gotta keep at least one rooster around. Make more chickens. I don't have any animals around here. What, make more, where's all my cat babies? Oh, because they're all, they're all girl cats. It's a monkey, isn't it? We can eat the monkey. Let's eat the monkey. And... Yeah, I don't have any boy cats. Girl cats. I need a boy cat. Well, we will eat... Uh, we can eat a peacock. Um, I guess we'll just, you'll just eat the monkey. I want to eat more, but... Um, <laughs> there's no cats in the world. A lavra. There goes the monkey's been slaughtered. They give us a little bit of meat and some uh, some monkey tail, monkey brains. And you can see this has all been carved out. It looks terrible. It looks hideous. And I forget how do you hide that? Um, you can see this. Like if we come in over here, I'm gonna show what I'm talking about here. This has all been engraved. So this is a detailed chalk pillar, and we can we can see what it is. It's a it's an image of two larches. We've got here uh, three strawberry plants on that one. So he just cut, he just carving whatever he wants. This one's actually a good one, a big one. We got a goblin and a dwarf. Uh, what are they doing? They're striking down. No more. Is um, taking out the goblin, killing of the uh, of the goblin by the dwarf. No more of the blowing swords in roof crafts during sixty five. The the onslaught. Yeah, all kinds of stuff going on here. Artwork, artwork, more goblins. They're getting better as he as he goes. Even the floors have artwork all over them. So, uh, but you can hide this. I don't remember how to do it though. Um, how do you hide things? Uh, is it that one? No. How do you do it? No, you can do it. You can do it in the game, can't you? It's not just. There's a there's a way of doing it in here. Um, can we remember? That's not it. 
Um, I don't remember. D? Um, beat toggle engravings? Is that it? And then B. Ah. Okay. Is it under the hide? That's not what we want. Is it? Ah, okay, 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 okay. So V and then cut and then highlight. Gotcha. And then B, we want this back on. Okay, that's that's good. Un unhide. Don't hide that. Okay, okay. So uh, what was that? D and then V and then highlight it. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Um, and you can do it with... Um, you can... Hide items. I guess you have to specifically say to hide like what items you want to hide. If you want to hide like the rocks and things. I'm going to give away, give away a graveyard keeper at the end of this stream. Uh, Troglodyte is fighting. Uh, where's this at? Is this in my fortress? Why is it? What? Okay, so. R. Let's take a look here. So, the, that sound of, of bones cracking is a Troglodyte walking through our fortress. So, we have a Troglodyte fighting. Hit enter on it, we can see. Troglodyte attacks the animal trainer, but he jumps away. So, uh, we can also hit Z on this. Z to zoom. And we can see there is a Troglodyte walking in my fortress. There's one right there. And there's one right there. The T's. Well, there's a, there's this foot and, and a corpse laying there. Uh, the uh, that's kind of the problem with with going into the caverns is it opens up a walkway for things to walk into your fortress, which has just happened. So these troglodytes are just walking in here. Troglodytes like they're like uh, funny little people, um, and uh, they're causing problems. So what we're gonna do is we can go hit you and see how many are out there. There's a few. We can zoom to them if we want to. There's one still down here, and there's one. I think there's two. There's, I see two of them there. There's two there, and the other, they're all coming up. Just because they're jerks. They're not very tough. We're going to grab our our, um, our military. We're going to grab the bronze beards. And we're going to kill from a list. We're going to get rid of all of them. Exterminate the troglodytes. Not, no, not the human guy. Exterminate the troglodytes. Okay. Go get them. We're going to paint the rooms red with troglodyte blood. Be like Oprah. Give away a car at the end of the stream. Okay. I have, you know what? I still have a ton of, of keys to give away. I should really do it one of these days. Maybe I'll add a few to it. So once they're done, it go. You can see they they're done. That was quick, quick and easy. Nice, nice training for the uh, for the bronze beards. Excellent training actually for the bronze beards. I have heard of Odd Realm. I've played a few. I've done a few videos on Odd Realm. So uh, one one idea. Because I got these folks coming down here now, and they're grabbing silk down this way. I think they're probably doing it now. Um, there goes one right now. Hey, thanks, Incognito. Videos are pretty comfy. Well, Incognito, you're you're pretty comfy also. Appreciate that. So occasionally you see someone come down here and grab. There's a cat running around. Come grab some webs. What we could do is put in like a wall, like we have up top here, like a wall and a door, so it's a little more defended down here, which might be a good idea in case something terrible comes in, like a giant spider or maybe some frog named Strange Lords. <clears throat> Thanks, Incognito. Appreciate that. Hmm. 
<laughs> you can see the, the they're using the wheelbarrow. There's a wheelbarrow getting pushed around. They're actually using that to get the uh, the, the blocks out. We finally made some of those. Uh, where the, how's those earrings coming along? You making those still? No? Maybe some of those... Uh, yeah, because the guy ruined it. Maybe some... Let's make some shell earrings. Make me uh, make, make a bunch of those. And then we'll make a bunch of, uh, of, of crowns. Yeah, something fancy. And then, uh, is that pedestal made? I'm going to put in a display furniture of a pedestal. I'm going to set it right there. And on that pedestal, we're going to put that, that artifact. We're at 1474. We're getting there. We're getting there. We need to make this place a little bigger. There's a pedestal getting placed in there. We can put in... Somebody's horrified about thread in the silk. Why? What's so scary about silk? What's in here? I don't know. Uh, on this pedestal, we're going to place... Um, D. And I'm going to put... What was the name of it? This one, the chalk earring. Yeah, that one's going to go there. Okay. Make it a museum? No, I think it's fine. We'll see. I'm not sure if this actually counts this way. I've never actually done this before, so we'll see if that actually works. What did that say? Fish cleaner has revealed the presence of the sloth of abbeys to the human. What did you do that for? Stop that. Stop that. So one big part of the... of the. Oh, there it is. There it is. Uh, okay, in one second. Uh, the guild hall agreement is with the guild of ivy has been satisfied. Excellent. Which means that we're at... A much bigger one. So we now we're... Uh, it is a proper guild now. That... Um, I guess we are a guild hall. I guess the next step is at 10,000, which we're, we're getting close to. Uh, anyways, what was I talking about? Um, what was I just saying? I forget what I was talking about. I got sidetracked with the, with the guild hall thing. I think maybe we should dig this thing a little more, though. To make it uh, a little bit bigger. It's always what it is, A bomb. What was I talk? What was I? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. We have a villains update. So, uh, we have folks that come around. A big part of this is is the um, is artifacts. Artifacts is a big part of the game now, and so you've got folks actively walking around trying to find artifacts, like we are doing as well. We've got rumors that there's an artifact over, you know, wherever. Um, and so that's a big part of the game now. You're gonna have folks coming to your fortress, secretly coming to your fortress, fortress with with um. Uh, different names because they're spies and they're trying to find your artifacts and so if you have someone like like fish cleaner Vobok Vabok telling people about our artifacts then uh, then we may get some folks coming and trying to take them they may actually have uh, I think bandits come along as well and try to try to get them as well try to take your artifacts <clears throat> people are you giving away some stuff Uh, digging through engraves upsets the creator, so it's wise to plan ahead in that regard. Oh, yeah, that's probably right. I forgot about that. Yeah, so we dig through this. They won't like that. Yeah, they can get over it. Are these cut yet? Why? Why? Ooh, because of miasma. Miasma is bad, so dead bodies stink, and uh, and they make people sick. The anniversary stream all over again. <clears throat> Um, muscle shell, ooh, a muscle shell crown masterpiece. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. That's real nice. Uh, why don't you make me a few more things? Make me some more things out of shell since you got it. Make me some, how about some shell rings? Everyone's got enough fingers for rings. Make some of those. Keep everyone equipped. Let's take a little quick look. So, we're going to wrap up this, uh, this, 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 uh, stream here. But, let's take a quick, quick look and make sure folks are looking alright. So, Aban, I'm going to view you and see what you think. Thoughts and preferences. Finish up some work. Felt satisfying. So, this is a good way of, of knowing... If uh, if things are going okay in the fortress, satisfied doing work, uh, sympathy remembering bringing somebody to rest in bed, uh, uneasy after seeing a troglodyte dead body. Yeah, we'll clean it up. Don't worry about it. Satisfied after learning about the foraging behavior, right? And, and the diet of creatures. Reading that book, people like books. Satisfied after reading 
give me foraging behavior. Yeah, she loved the book. Uh, satisfied reading, give me... Yeah, she lo she read it like 15 times. It's really good. Satisfied learning about the classification of bodily fluids. Apparently that's another book we have. <laughs> Euphoria doing inebriation. She's drunk. Afraid experiencing trauma. What was it? Horrified seeing a troglodyte. Oh, I bet you probably fought the troglodytes or saw them. Dwelling upon... Uh, uneasy dwelling upon the seeing the elf dead body, which is going to stick around a little while. Grouchy caught in the rain, which isn't going to happen anymore. Married to Obuk, and daughter of Lolor and Monum, 30 years old. Uh, Matt dreams of mastering a skill. Uh, let's see, we can see her health if we need to. She's fine. Uh, relationships, she, uh, her husband is Obuk, who lives here in the fortress. Mom and dad are out there somewhere. Uh, Segan is the uh, the grandfather. Why is Segan blue? Um, and then whatever else is here. There's a, ma a massive family. Um, we go, let's take a look at, let's take a look at our mayor, Deton here. Hey, Deton. Uh, you need an office. I suppose that's, oh, I didn't even see that you, you did a mandate. So, nobles are terrible. And they're going to come in here and they, they, they have things that they're going to demand that you make. Or they're going to have things you demand that you not export. And he did this, I missed the, the notification for it. But he, doesn't, he apparently has a thing for boots. So he's saying, no exporting boots, he says. Uh, but he wants some things. We can click on him, hit V, and he shows all he wants. He has a meager quarters. He wants a decent one. He also wants a decent office, decent dining room. He wants chest, cabinet. He's a he's a mayor. He thinks he's all that. So we'll have to make him a room uh, at some point. How's he feeling? Try to focus on the practical side of the matter is what he says. Uh, or she says. Interested after watching a performance. Uh, performance would be people coming into my dining room, like the, the humans and things coming in. Uh, pleasure near a fine seat. Good seats. A pleasure after a satisfying acquisition. She probably picked up a, uh, a crown or a uh, or earring or something. Uh, made her happy. Pleasure putting on a truly splendid item. Oh, yeah? Okay. Maybe that earring. Or the crown. Um, she was afraid reliving experience and trauma, which she probably attacked something. Elated remembering being elected. Yeah, yeah, that was good times. Uh, enraptured remembering communing with Seber Stone Twilight. That's her people. She's uh, her, her god. Enraptured again. She has a god. She has a, a place for her god to to worship her god. So she's happy. She's married to Locum. She's got seven kids. Uh, she's 147 years old. Her upper body is dented. <laughs> uh, it happens. A few dents. And then you got uh, just a wall of text. Uh, and we can see that how's she feeling? She's fine, other than her dent. She brought somebody to rest in bed at some point. Uh, relationships. Husband locum. It's just kids everywhere. Oh, oh, you had a... You the one had the baby? Zolba? I think it is. What was it, Tony? Wasn't it? You are the one that had the baby. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. If I hit B on you. No. Only people that are actually in the fortress. We can see... Um, so if you want to know how... Example of how in-depth the game is. We go to Siebser. This is her deity. Learn all about the deity. So, Seber Stone Twilight, deity of the Lancer of Onslaught, uh, most takes the uh, the form of a female dwarf and associated with hunting, fishing, duty, and order. We can see what what um, what happened here. One fifteen dwarf necromancer Stukos attempted to corrupt Minkot in order to have law enforcement look the other way in Cobalt Tactic, Cobalt Attack, Cobalt Attic. Stukos met with Minkot and, while completely misreading the situation, the situation played for sympathy by appealing to a shared worship of Seber. Minkot valued the law and refused. Early summer 126. Siebser cursed the dwarf vampire Reg to prowl the night in search of blood and obeyed lashes. Oh, this is all the people you've cursed throughout your... Oh. You've cursed Nil. You cursed a goblin vampire. You, uh... The foggy impunity was created by the goblin Nyko to glorify you. And, uh... You also cursed a dwarf. In Stukos. Assume the form of an armadillo like monster every full moon and obeyed lashes. Hmm. You can see the husband. There's a husband. Ow. Okay. He's reading a reading a, a codex. Okay. Um get that miasma out of here. We can come in here quickly. Do we have a did I ever set up a dump stockpile? I don't think I did. We'll leave we'll use this lake over here. We can dump. I don't even matter. We're stuck it over there. We're gonna pick this. This. Uh, this is. I'm going to I. And we're set this up as a garbage dump. D. 
And so when we come over here, we got this thing we want to get rid of, this troglodyte body. We can say, wrong one, go to K. And we can troglodyte, there's a head and a corpse there. We can K, look at them, and then hit D on both of them to force them to get dumped. So someone come over here and toss them in that pile over there, hopefully. There they go. They're already getting hauled. And they're going to get tossed in that spot right up there. There you go. Stinging up the place, but it's fine. <laughs> Thanks, dude. <laughs> All right, um, let's uh, let's let's call it. Today. This is probably a good place to call it. We'll um, this will give me more excuses to play some more. We're gonna make sure our our guild hall is built up like we want it to be built. I want to make it extra fancy. We have we do have um, boxes and bags. We got we got um, uh, writing materials. No, we don't need those yet. Tables and chairs. We got each scribe has has a, I guess a, a box and a bag in the area, so we can maybe get to somewhere. Uh, making some things there. Um, temples. We should make our temples a little fancier too. Make them more than just a shrine. Yeah, I think so. I'll have to look at all that stuff. I don't really mess with much of this at all. Um, we also have a tavern, which doesn't have a tavern keeper. We can put one in real quick. Who wants to tavern keep? Um, who's doing nothing? Uh, Thob the peasant is is in the military. Uh. Who wants it? Who wants it? Uh, Reg the Presser. Reg, you're now in the Tavern Keeper. We need... Oh, we don't have any goblets in here? You know, one thing I haven't actually done is is rented rooms. So we should do that 